Hi everyone! Today we have our new lesson. Our lesson is about rounding off decimals. Let's watch this. Let's talk about round decimal numbers. So, how to round decimals? Number one, to round decimal number, that I mean first the rounding place. Kung ang rounding place ba natin na tinutukay, nearest tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. So, mahalaga, dapat alam natin ang place value or yung number na i-round off natin. Look at the digit to the right of the rounding place. So, titingnan natin yung number. Nakuha na natin yung rounding place. Yung number at the right naman ang titingnan natin. Or, determine natin. So, the digit in the rounding place is the one that will either be rounded up or round down depending on the digit to its right. So, kasi yung number at the right, yun yung magsasabi kung ang number ba natin na sinasabi ay round up or round down. Paano ba natin masasabi na round up or round down? So, if the number is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, add 1 to the digit in the rounding place. So, ibig sabihin niyan, mag-round up tayo. If this is less than 5, so meaning 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, retain the digit in the rounding place. Do not forget to drop all the digits around in the, around, after the rounding place. So, tingnan natin yung example, round up to the nearest tenth. So, meaning, hahanapin natin ang number to the nearest tenth. So, ano ba yung number to the nearest tenth? So, ang given natin is 48 and 8,692 10,000. So, ang rounding natin place natin is 8. Then, look at the digit at the right. So, ang number at the right is 6. So, si 6 ang magsasabi if the number is round up or round down. So, 6 yan. Since 6 yan, round up. Kung mag-round up tayo, yung given na rounding place value natin, add 1. So, 8 plus 1 equals 9. Yung number sa left, we just copy. So, may 48 tayo. Point. So, 8 plus 1, 9. Lahat ng number sa right, drop natin. So, magiging 0 yan. Ilang 0 yan? Tatlo. Tatanggalin na natin yung 0. No need to write kasi wala nang value yung 0 sa dulo after the 9. Kasi nearest tenths lang naman. So, kaya magiging sagot natin is 48 and 9 tenths lang. So, example ulit natin, round up to the nearest tenths. Ang given natin is 48 and 5,102. So, ano ba yung parts niyan? Digit in the rounding place. So, ang digit natin in the rounding place is 5. Next, digit to the right of the rounding place. So, 1. Kung ang 1, so, ibig sabihin niyan, mag-round down tayo. Do we need to change 5? Of course, no. So, yung number sa left, we just copy. 48. And, so, 5, hindi natin bagbaguhin yan kasi round down. So, 1, 2, 3, yung tatlong digits sa right, no need to copy. Sabi, drop down. So, tatanggalin natin, wala na natin, hindi na natin yan isusulat. So, ganun lang kasi round up to the nearest tenths. Kaya, ang magiging sagot natin, 48 and 5 tenths. Next. So, here are some examples. So, we will round up each decimal to the indicated place value. Gawin natin parang table. So, may nearest tens, nearest hundreds, and nearest thousands. So, meaning, sa isang number, we have three answers. So, sa number 1, 8 and 4,325, 10,000. To the nearest tens. So, ang nearest tens natin is 8. Ang katabi niya is 4. So, kung 4 ang katabi niya, round down. So, hindi magbabago ang 4. So, ang magiging sagot natin dyan, 8 and 4 tenths. No need to change or, or no need to write three zeros. Kahit may zero siya sa katabi. Kasi kapag whole number, kailangan isulat yung sa dulo. Pero pag decimal, wala na yung value. Next, nearest, hundreds. So, ang hundreds place value natin is 3. Ang katabi ng 3 ay 2. So, again, 2, magsasabi dyan kung round down or round up. So, since 2 yan, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, no need. 
So, round down. Pag round down, ang katabi niya, rounding place natin ay hindi magbabago. So, 3 pa rin siya. Again, yung number sa left, we just copy. So, 8 and 4. So, since hindi magbabago ang 3, we just copy. Wala nang 0, 0. So, ang sagot sa since nearest hundreds, so 8 and 43 hundreds. Next, nearest thousands. So, ang thousands place value natin ay 2. 2, katabi niya is 5. So, 5, round up. So, si 2, since round up yan, magiging plus 1. So, number sa left ay kokopyahin. 8 and 4, 3. Si 2 plus 1 equals 3. So, answer is 8 and 433,000. Next, 75 and 2751 or 2751 10,000. So again, nearest tens natin ay 2, katabi niya ay 7, so meaning round up. So 2 magiging plus 1, so magiging 3. So 75 and 3 tenths. Next, nearest hundreds. So ang hundreds place value natin ay 7, katabi niya sa right ay 5. So, 5 is round up. So, meaning mag-add 1 tayo kay 7. So, magiging 75 and 28 hundreds. Next, so nearest thousands. Ang thousands natin place value is 5. Katabi niya ay 1. So, round down. Do we need to change 5 or we, do we need to add? No. So, it will remain. So, ang magiging sagot natin ay... 75 and 275,000. Okay. Last number, the given is 216 and 2,537,000. So, 2 is the tens place value. 5 ang katabi. So, round up. So, 2 plus 1, gigin 3 yan. So, 216 and 3 tenths. Next, Hundreds. So, ang hundreds place value natin is 5. Katabi niya is 3. Again, round down. Hindi magbabago ang 5. So, 216 and 25 hundreds. Next, 3. Katabi niya ay 7. So, round up. So, mapa plus 1 tayo. So, magiging sagot ay 216 and 254. What if walang whole place value? Whole na o... Oh, Walang, ano, zero lang. So, of course, yung nasa left, magiging zero point. So, ganun lang kasimple. Sana naintindihan nyo yung binigay kong sample. So, let us try kung may natutunan kayo or naintindihan do sa binigay kong mga example. So, round each number to the indicated place value. So, sa number 1, round up to the nearest tens. Number 2, hundreds. Number 3, thousands. You can comment down below ang inyong mga sagot at titingnan natin kung tama ang inyong mga binigay na answers. So, for my reference, it is came from grade 5, 21st century mathletes, pages 106 to 109. Thank you for watching. Thank you my Road to 500 subscribers. Huwag niyo lang kalilimutan ng like at subscribe sa aking YouTube channel. Bye!